Hi and welcome to a dentist guy. Today we're going to look at another type of paintbrush tool, the blob brush in Illustrator. So the blob brush sits within the paintbrush tool. So if I hit that there on the tool menu and hold down my mouse, it brings up another option, which is the blob brush tool. I got again, as you can see there, I can hit Shift B on the keyboard would activate this tool as well. But the difference between this tool is it's a more freeform shape building tool. I'll show you what I mean. So I've drawn a shape there, and if I hit Command Y or Control Y on a PC, you can see that's a shape. Whereas with a paintbrush tool, if I draw something similar, that's actually a stroke. The difference means I can change the type of brush being used there. So that would be a different kind of brush, whereas I can't do that. But the beauty of the blob brush tool, if I select it again there, is when I add anything, if I over cross anything to that, it becomes one shape. Whatever, when any of these intersections happen, it, it adds to the shape. Whereas if I revert back to the paintbrush tool and paint over it, these will always be separate shapes, unless I expand it. So that's the main differences there. Uh, of course you can, with the blob brush tool, if you double click on that, it brings up a menu to give you various options. You can change the size of the brush, the angle, you can make it a little more flat, and you can make it make sure it's more smooth when you create shapes or more accurate to your hand movements as well. And there's all different kind of options here that's worth playing about, but for today, it was really just a basic overview of how, what this brush was being used for. And you can see it's more for building shapes rather than strokes. Anyway, hopefully you found this useful. If you did, please like this video, please subscribe, and I'll catch you next time.